work that's been driving me. Mm -hmm. Work inspires you? Yes, it does. I like the work. I like the work for work. Is there, is there ever been a time in your life that you wish you were not doing what you were doing? Because I know you, Leigh. You are a workaholic. <laughs> and you lo and as you said, you but I what find you time to enjoy myself. Mm -hmm. And what is it? What do you do when you enjoy yourself? Nothing. <laughs> really? Sleep. Are you a loner? Of course, we know you read. I Aside read quite from a bit. reading uh, on your own I read and quite in a bit. private time. Um, yeah. What is a private moment with you? And what, what is a quiet time? I listen to music. Just anything that doesn't have anything to do with my work. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I love listening to Strivan and oh, yeah. compilation CDs that I get from friends of mine. Um, what else do I like to do? I love to read, as I've mm -hmm. said. Um, I'm on my computer a lot. Mm -hmm. And I've just gotten hooked on eBay. eBay? What's that? eBay is this online auction thing. Huh. eBay.com. You just have money for this, or? No, not necessarily. Really? Not a lot of money. See, nobody, people watching right now would not take you as a computer buff because you're such a. Ooh, why? Because I'm such a girl. No, not a, it's not a girl guy <laughs> thing. It's more of a. You seem to be so much into the arts that that that, that whole high tech that looks like something Gerard would be doing. You know. Oh no, really? Really? Yeah. Really? Now, let me ask you this now. As far as the song selection you have now, she's got a new. A new CD out with BMG Records, but the one that she did before, In Love, by yes. the way, has gone platinum five times. Is it five? Hello, five times. That's, that's a lot of CDs to be sold. Um, is there still a song, I, I'm looking at the list of songs that you yes. have here. Is there still a song that you wish that you had done many, many years ago? I mean, before you were Leia Salonga, the Miss Saigon, the big Broadway star. Is there, do you have any, any regrets as you look back at the music that she did? No. Do you think maybe that because you are who you are now, that the songs should come so easy? I think so. Um, like I did you ever want to try I've rock and roll? Is what I'm saying. No, you know what I mean? no, no, no. Um, everything that I've done has pretty much been everything that I've wanted to do. Everything? Pretty that much. That you dreamt about? Yeah. I mean, when I was 15, you, you go through the motions mm -hmm. of dancing and singing all these kinds right. of different songs, right. and that was, I guess, a great time. And for those 15 or 16 year olds who are in the business now, right. who are thinking, why do I have to sing all these songs? <laughs> Enjoy it because this is probably the one time when you'll discover what you want to do, mm -hmm. and then it just goes on. When there. was that time, Leah? I mean, I was doing so much when I was growing up. That's what I mean. You were, you were doing so many things. You were auditioning, you were doing this, and, and musicals at a very young age, from yeah. Annie all the way up. But mm -hmm. when was that time that you knew for a fact that this is what you wanted to be? Um, it must have been while I was in Miss Saigon. That's when I started when you to were seriously mm -hmm. take this as a career, because mm -hmm. up until then, I was gearing myself for medical school, I was getting ready for that, mm -hmm. I mean I was working in show business mm -hmm. as a way to earn a little extra money so mm -hmm. I could go to school and just have fun and whatever. But when I got into Miss Saigon, then I started thinking, maybe this is, you know, maybe this is it, Th maybe this is it. And yeah. so I started taking it more seriously. So would you say in the beginning it seemed more of a job and now it seems more of a passion Well before you? it was more of a hobby, mm -hmm. it wasn't so much a job, now it's it's part of me, you know, my career is not just a way to earn a living, right, right. it's also um, my way of healing, my way of escape, it's mm -hmm. catharsis, mm -hmm. it's passion, it's mm -hmm. love, it's everything. Hmm. Sounds like an email letter we <laughs> kind of back and forth. <laughs> These are the things that you don't know. When we come back, we'll talk more about the passionate side of Mega Salonga. Mega Salonga. Clap, everybody. Yeah. Say that you love me. Show me that you care. Say that you care. Say when I need you, you will always be there. But if you go and leave me, this I swear is true. My love will always be with you. everything all in perspective. I mean, Can you? It's, it's, it's easy when you know friends who have been at the top and then all of a sudden the roles switch and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden somebody else is at the top or you start questioning why am I not there and then you get there. And then Actually, that's, that's, that's the like better that. question because in our world of showbiz, we're only as good as our last CD, of course, five times platinum. It's pretty hard to beat. But uh, well. 
when you see someone, like now, you're no longer doing Miss Saigon, when you see the person who took your place or who is now doing Miss Saigon, how do you feel? Do you feel like, oh, my, I no. shouldn't have let it go, or I'm better than you? Or no, 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 it's never about that, because okay. every actor, say, who does, let's just be a little more specific with okay. Miss Saigon, every person who does that part is different. Okay. And, I mean, I have it better because I was the very first person to do that mm -hmm. part, so mm -hmm. I get to um, write a lot of the rules down. Mm -hmm. Um, which a lot of people then have to follow. So yeah. they're like, why did you make it so hard, or why did you do this? <laughs> and then I started asking myself, that, why the heck did I make it so hard? And when I went back into the show, I was driving myself up the wall. I saw your Miss Saigon, the, when you were, when more or less the many, first many part. Many years ago, the first, the first, first time, time I did in New York. Miss Saigon. Yeah. But mm -hmm. someone, a, a mutual friend of ours, saw you lately, and they said, you know, Mark, that kissing scene is a little bit more <laughs> believable now. <laughs> What was this vitamin you took? I mean, <laughs> can I have some? <laughs> can I you had, say that had you matured really with the role, you probably. grew up with the role? I just grew up, period. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I was 27 when I did the role again, turning mm -hmm. 28. So you live a little life, mm -hmm. you grow up a, a lot, mm -hmm. um, experience a few more things mm -hmm. from that mm -hmm. than now, and then it happens. Now, those experiences now put them all in one little. Uh, in a little box, let's say, and have you opened this box of experiences, this this box of emotions, of, of angst mm -hmm. in your life, no? and have you now applied it to your music, to your new CD? We'll talk um, about that now. Okay. You know um, what I'm saying? That, that they're obviously, these songs are all beautiful love songs by yes. some of the, your favorite OPM singers. Two of them are mine. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you for that. Free plug, uh, Martin America. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Do you find yourself now, as even as a recording artist, more putting passionate more passion, than the music? Yeah? Yes. Yes, and even Mr. C Ryan Kayabyab has noticed it. He said, because and I've noticed this myself. When I was much younger, I was more concerned with it being note perfect, with mm -hmm. it being clean technically, mm -hmm. with it being slick as mm -hmm. possible. Now it doesn't have to be so note perfect mm -hmm. as long as emotionally the feel is there. It's there, right? And that's more important. I, can't, I can't believe you're saying that because I, the n number of people I've talked to about Leah Salong, we do talk about you. Yes. I've always said that the one thing that you have that none of us have, recording, you are pitch perfect. No, I'm not. I, uh, the way I see it, you are, because you seem to be so uh, fixated with getting that right note. So you've learned now? I rehearse now? at home for hours mm -hmm. before I hit the studio, mm -hmm. and this is what I, told, I tell people that I work mm -hmm. with, um, which is why it's important that whenever I do an album like this, that Mr. C gets all of the min a, a lot of the minus ones done, mm -hmm. and then he sends them to me. Like the first tape oh. he sends me, seven songs seven songs first um, and then the, some of them are just piano backgrounds without any of the embellishments right, yet right. He's like his instructions to me are listen to the song right. let me know if everything is in the right key right when everything is right tell me then he can add right so I tell him number one yes number two yes number three yes ah. number four make it lower number five yes number six wow. yes. Whatever. so it's very systematic and it's very professional so Whenever I hit the studio, by this time I have already rehearsed all right. these seven songs. It's in within you now. It's already in it's me. Not and like it's in my head, and it, yeah. I know the songs by heart, pretty much, lyrically a little bit, but more or less I have the songs in my head, and emotionally I'm, I'm there. So when I get to the studio, I just have to rehearse it maybe a couple of times. Dumb. And Ryan will give me a couple of other instructions. I want it like this. Make sure the voice is a little more breathy. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's like this, like this, like this. I hit the studio. We're done. Now, your mom and yes. I go back a long way. She's, oh, yes. She's always said she's wanted to be my manager. She's wa <laughs> she wanted to be my mother. I don't, I don't know which one. My, uh, how big a role does your, has your mom played in your life? Uh, we've known her for, for many years, even yeah. as a child. Yes. How she's pushed you, how she's uh, represented you beautifully. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, now you being a, a much more mature woman, how big a role, responsibility is your mom in your life? Well, she pretty much lets me live my own life mm -hmm. now. And, I mean, that's only normal. I'm mm -hmm. 28 years old after all. But she will always, you know, advise. Mm -hmm. And she will, if, if something's going a little strange, mm -hmm. she will always be, you know what, it, you might be, you might want to think about mm -hmm. doing that. And, but she won't say, don't do that. Uh -huh. not, you know. So she may even let you make an error or two. She'll make me make children. mistakes. And that's oh how yeah. you learn. Anyway, uh, <laughs> as far as the, the whole being Leia Salonga, of course, that, as you said, it's the, the more popular and more jobs you get, the more humble you become. But as far as I know that politics is and, and, and being an ambassador of goodwill is somewhere in the n near neighborhood of your career. Would you like to well, be that um, ambassador of goodwill? I'd like to think that I kind of do that whenever I say that, you know, I'm Filipino, whenever I perform anywhere or wherever I do anything publicly for anybody, that I always 
put in that I am from Philippines, Philippines. because it's a source of pride mm -hmm. for me. And it's also, I guess, I'd like to think of it as a source of pride for other people for who, them, sure. who, who look to me and, and say, yeah, she's Filipino, you know, yeah, 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 that's wonderful. That's so good. I just try to, to embody that ideal mm -hmm. in my own way. That's very good, because actually, without even trying, you have become an ambassador of goodwill to I all of us. We're best. so proud of you. Thank you. And to actually have you here in the Philippines, I know that, I don't know if I read it somewhere, or that you said that you really were thinking in the future to really end up back in the Philippines. You never know. No? You never but know. New York is still where you're back Right now, New York is home, mm -hmm. and I'm going to start school in January in New York, mm -hmm. so I'm going to be there for at least another couple of years mm -hmm. because of that. So when we come back, I want to discuss what your plans are as far as the future. Can you see with all that you've gone through in your life now, we all have been reading about the big breakup. What are her views on love, life, and marriage? When we come back with Leia Salonga late at night. We'll be right back. Get ready to stretch those vocal cords in this week's TF Sing Along. Music for the heart and for the soul every week in TF Sing Along. Leia Salong on Marriage and Love. Now again, the most publicized breakup. I don't know why. Why did they do that? They always pick on our private I lives. Don't you hate don't that? Yes, I do. No? I do, I do. I was very disappointed when the news was became, very such, became such a big thing. Yeah. And it wasn't very fair to, to Rich when mm -hmm, it came out. Mm -hmm. so was he upset by all of this? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, um, then we won't talk about that. No, yeah. That will be different. Uh, but, this, be but this I will talk about. Though. As far as love, and, and marriage, and at the age that you are now, and, and uh, this, as seasoned as you are now, do you still believe in marriage? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I still believe in two people falling in love like they were hit by a stroke of lightning. Oh, you're one of those, you, ma you kiss, and then there's sparks. And then, boom! Yes. No. Unang tingin palang. Boom. Really? Yeah, hmm. I believe in that. Okay, and what about marriage? You think that the nowadays, especially in our business, the marriage seems to be such a foreign word, you know, I mean, it's I like know. a different um, language. It's something that definitely has to be taken a little more seriously. I mm -hmm. mean, for example, if you, if I decide to marry somebody, it'll be because I want to be with this person mm -hmm. for the rest of my life mm -hmm. and have children with him, build a life with him, and, and live happily ever after. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I'd like. I mean, it's obviously not going to be perfect. No marriage is perfect. Mm -hmm. Would you know, Leah, would you know if, if a guy is with you because of you? You know, Leia Salonga the person or Leia Salonga? That takes time to discern. Could, can, can you, but can you tell? Can you choose? You can start to. The fools. Yeah, you, you can, can start to. Um, it takes time to, 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 to find out, though. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not an instantaneous thing because mm -hmm. you can be showered with flattery mm -hmm. until you turn blue mm -hmm. you know, by psychophants and, and mm -hmm. people like that. Mm -hmm. Now, do you see yourself in the future settling down? No more? Yeah, like, let's say you, you, you fell in love with Sparks, as, as you said, and then he said to you, you know, sweetheart, I want you to be home, I want to have a family, no more singing. Right. Could you do that? I don't think I could ever do the no more singing because that's really, that's mm -hmm. my life, mm -hmm. you know, and that's something that God gave me mm -hmm. that I need to keep doing. Mm -hmm. um, there are going to be compromises, there are certain things I'll say, okay, I will not do this anymore, but you can't stop me from singing because that is my love. And if he loves you, he should know that. He should know. He should take you love you what you are yeah. for simply being you yeah. don't simply be, what's the words anyway <laughs> i'm going to take the list of your songs let's show the game here uh -oh. i asked you i asked you during commercial do you want me to prepare you no i can do this all right i'm going to take the titles of your songs are you going to do it at random or are you going to what are you going to go from top to bottom well you memorize the no 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 no. This no 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 I will enumerate. I will s say a name of, so of the song on the CD. Ay, you put a name, a person in your life, or past, present, or future. Okay, uh -huh. by the name of the song. All right. Okay. First thing that pops into your mind. I can't do names. What if it's somebody that I don't want to name? Then pick Mickey Mouse. Will do. <laughs> all right. I'll just say Mickey you Mouse. Just say Mickey Mouse, which means no comment. Ready? Okay. Here we go. 
I don't love you anymore. Mm. Ooh. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Who loves him anyway? All right, all right. I will always stay this way in love. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Please. I cannot comment. This is a Disney interview, boy. Like <laughs> once and once upon a life. Gary, we love you. We love you, Gary. Um, first, nobody came into my mind. Nobody came. Gary. Gary V. Because Gary V. Because he sang the song. And Ryan did the, the music and yeah. stuff. Okay. Uh, how about Enderman Cruz? Of course, wrote the song. Yes. Um, uh, can we just stop and talk a while? Who would you make? Who, if you could, Tita right Joe. now. Tita Joe. I think I. It's Tita Joe. Actually, I was thinking about you. Why me? Because remember, we were both in a special that Tita Joe did a long, long time ago, and you sang that song. Really? I don't even remember. <laughs> you did. You really? sang. You sang. Can we just stop and talk a while? Do you, you think about me sometimes? I thought about you. Just once in a while. You think about Once in a while. Just at this moment when. At that moment Thank when you. I sang. Okay. That song. Till I met you. Cool. Cool Desma. Cool. Definitely okay. cool because. She's like the definitive version. I mean, yeah. none of this yeah. that I did are the, the definitive versions. These are like covers, but she did the... Layad's yeah. version, of course. I have my own version. Well, let, let's, let's stop there first. Till I met you. If you could meet someone right now, who would you like to meet? You're in my seat now. You have your... Lay out late at night. You're the host. <laughs> who would you want to meet and interview and talk to and learn about? Ooh. Your dream interview. You're the host. My dream interview? Can Barbara Streisand. Ooh. Mm. Well, I can't even think of anyone who could beat that. I sing with her. I can die tomorrow. That's Same it. here. Absolutely. She's great, no? Oh gosh. A long, long time ago. Mickey Mouse. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid for love to fade, and Mickey Mouse is tired, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Afraid for love to fade. Um, Mr. C. Okay. The first time I heard the song, he was actually singing it at our dinner table when we were choosing okay. repertoire. Mm -hmm. But are you the kind of person? Are you, are, are you the, are you the kind of person who's more afraid to lose? I I, 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 how do I ask this question? Are you the more careful in a relationship for the love not to fade, or do you just go with the flow? Kung talagang ayon niya sa yon, okay lang sa yon. Are you the one? No, please, but no, you no, can I understand. Don't, I, don't. I, I love you, man. <laughs> Where am I? I the past we had together. I don't do that. Me, I don't do that. No. You're not a beggar. I didn't think so. I could have answered that question. Thank you very much for that one. I don't beg. Let the pain remain. Mm-hmm. Basil. Basil, Basil. <laughs> Basil, no mind. Basil. That's the first person that came to my mind when the song first came to the table. What do you do with your pain when it remains inside you? What do you do? I don't know. Drown myself out with TV or read a book and escape for a little while. So you do escape? I do escape. I find some other way to escape. Are you the kind of person who, who, who likes to pretend it doesn't exist, or do you just... For a little while. I'll try to be in denial for mm -hmm. a bit, and then confront it later when I'm more ready. How long does it take you to get over the pain to move on with your life? It depends. It depends on the degree of pain. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes months, sometimes it takes days, sometimes minutes. It depends. Okay. Try Say again. that you love me. You. <laughs> well? You. Why, why me? One, it's your song. Okay, um, that's a great song, no? It's, it's a, a Louis Ocampo. It's Louis Ocampo. Alan Ike song. song, great song. Yeah, hey, my brother arranged it for this album. It sounds fabulous. fabulous. Ron Bates, lingo. <laughs> <laughs> but say that you love me. If, is, is there a way in your past, okay, I know you've had time for love. No names mentioned, Mickey uh -uh, Mouse, maybe. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Is there a way that you can remember that Mickey Mouse said he loved you, that was the most precious memory in your mind. In other words, could it have been a gift? It could it have been a moment? Could it have been an, uh, a place that you've been to? What is that place where... Would you rephrase the question? You've got say me that confused. You say okay. that you love okay. me, okay. right? Okay. Where was that one place where love was said to you, I love you was said to you, that you will never forget? What's that one place? Ooh. Ooh that's why I'm a host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, where did this happen? Mm. A very long time ago. Okay. With Mickey Mouse and then? I was 19. 19 years old. I won't say where. You won't say where? No. Well, that was the question. Mickey Mouse, Disneyland. I was in London. And he would say that you love Yeah, I love you. Yes. Right? You like, what, what's your favorite type of I love you? Is it I love you? Love you. No. It's I when it's whispered. When it's whispered. I love you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sa favoritong contest Bayo. ng bayan. Bella. Oh, Bayo. Tara, dadalhin ko na isang taong libo ang bayo! Nako! 
Mapapasayaw ka sa saya, pera o bayong sa LTV. Tuloy-tuloy ang ligaya, martes hanggang linggo. Is it just food? They, they bribe you. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. Well, one thing is sure, and, th th and, th and this I say from the heart, that you know, one of the things that we can say here in the Philippines, and I speak, I guess, for all the artists and everybody who admires you, who's, who's interviewed you, and who's been uh, spent any kind of time with you, to be in the same room, to be in the same stage with Leia Salonga, it's, it's magical. Because we oh, know that you have been through so much already in your life as a child. You, you, you've made a dream come true. How and old was I now? Let's not go there. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not that much older than you. How old are you? I'm no less than seven. <laughs> <laughs> to be on the same stage <laughs> and share the same limelight with this lady here, it gives us a little bit of a taste of what it is to be successful, to be, how do you say, I, I don't even want to say admired or idolized, because I don't think that, that, that doesn't affect you. Being idolized, being <gasps> praised and praised. I think what it is is the true determination and love of what you do, and that's one thing we can learn from Leia Salongri. Don't do it unless you love to do it. You have Not to just for the it. money or the fame. And that's why it. she is who she is. And she's on my show. Leia Salongri. Late at night. Susunod na ang Wacky Trio ni na Randy, John at Willie para sa sangkatutak na kasiyahan sa Magandang Tanghali Bayan! Show me the 
gentlemen, Miss Leia Salonga and Maestro Ryan Kayabiab. Of course, hi, Leia. Hello, Hello Sharon. Hello. You know, this is, I will sit here with Mr. C. This is the prettiest I've seen, Leia. <laughs> really, alam Thank mo, you. paganda Thank ka you. ng paganda. Ito ba ay dahil in love ba yan? <laughs> Or ikaw ba ay uh, gusto mong ma-in love ulit, kaya inspired ka magpaganda. No And comment. you've lost so much weight, no? Thank you. No, Thank really, you really. very much. Thank you. My golly, look at her. Mr. C, yeah. si Lea, marami nang naging achievements. Uh, nakakabilib, no? As an actress and as a singer, both here and abroad. Yeah. What do you think is her best asset? Kaya niya nararating ito. Ang tingin mo? What is her best asset or what are her best ah, assets? For me, uh -huh. uh, really the, the top asset. No? Mm. Just like you. She's very intelligent. Kasi, But the talent, voice! No, 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 no. Hmm? Talent, the voice is already there. It's God-given. Pagka hindi kayo intelligent, walang mangyayari sa'yo. Bakit, Mr. C? Bakit importante yon? Kasi yung iba, pag magandang boses, kakanta lang, di ba? Oh, well, Bakit sa tingin mo? From um, you. Eh, the experience of having to decide what to, you know, to sing, not only to sing, but the person uh, that you are. Ikaw, the way you, you decide, no? Very important yon. If you're not intelligent, you'll just be there in the gutters. Kahit na magaling ka, pero you don't know how to map your... Um, Your careful, career. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I'm sorry. It's true. It's true. You know, 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 you And then she really did it for us with Miss Saigon, Lemis, and everything. So, parang sa amin, a lot of people look up to you as a symbol of perfection and discipline because her voice is so. I've never heard, ladies and gentlemen, I've never heard someone sing with a more perfect, more brilliant voice than Leia. Really, never, never, really. Um, the way that she sings, how effortless she does it, and you know, how effortlessly she just delivers her, her songs and everything. So, yung iba dito sa Pilipinas nagtataka, nagtatanong sila kung si Lea kaya nagbago na. Kasi yung ibang achievements niya, wala pang nakakagawa nun. Kasi natitend sila pagkaharap ka. Anong masasabi mo sa kanila? It's all in the mind. <laughs> <laughs> their minds. It's all in their minds. Nothing's changed with, with me. Then well, ako, di ba sabi mo Mr. Sino on may interview ka na pag nasa London kayo, all of a sudden magbe-British act. <laughs> Tapos pagkausap ka na, biglang balik sa Tagalog. Oh, yes. Tapos sa Amerika, slang siya. Amerika na kanyang English. Pero pagdating dito, normal. Ganyan. No? It, that's so, that's wonderful to see. After all, talaga she's still the same Leia, isn't she? Yes. So, you know, yung mga iba dyan, she's just relax. <laughs> anyway, mga kaibigan, for the next whole hour, makikilala pa po natin ng konti pa po kung sino pa po ba si Leia Salonga na hindi pa po natin nalalaman. The new and more daring daw. Totoo ba yun? Daring? Paano ako naging daring? Oh, hey, bakit may mga napapag-usapan na ganun? Kasi, ano kaya ang magiging transformation ni Leia, mga kaibigan? Ten years, ten years na. After Miss Saigon, nung una siya nag-umpisa. Imagine po ang dating little orphan Annie, di ba? Tomorrow! <laughs> mga tomorrow! Anyway, eh, magiging Tama ba yung word na animalistic? Tama ba? Hindi kaya masyadong ano yun? Masyadong ano eh, abrupt, di ba? We'll find out mga kaibigan when Sharon returns. But when you say that you love me And show me that you care Say when I need you You will always be there But if you go Kaibigan, we're back here on Sharon. Kasama pa rin po natin, syempre, ang Miss Saigon turned eponine, turned uh, um, 
Church, Princess Jasmine, di ba? Tapos naging Mulan and many, many others pa na talagang kilalang kilala natin at napamahal sa atin. Ang napamahal din po sa atin ang matagal na panahon na si Miss Leia Salonga. Hello again, Leia. Hello, shall we? Parang hello tayo ng hello. <laughs> and of course, Maestro, Ryan Kayabiab is still with us. Mr. C, the groovy Maestro. <laughs> groovy, groovy nga. <laughs> oh. Anyway, Leia, ito yung nabanggit ko kanina bago tayo mag cute gap. Ano yung sabi nila mas daring ka daw ngayon because in your recent pictorials yata, medyo mas hindi na yung sobrang wholesome. Hindi naman yung mali naman yung animalistic. Yung mas daring lang ng konti. Is that true? I'm older. Mas matanda. Yeah, aren't we all? 28. Actually, <laughs> di ba? I mean, you can't be two thumbs for your entire life. You cannot. And you know what? It doesn't mean na porke medyo you're a little more revealing than usual. Basta naman it's in good taste, di ba? Ganun naman yun. Anyway, di ba you first did Miss Saigon 10 years ago? 1989. Imagine, no? September 20, 1989. Imagine. And then, how long did you do it for the first time? The first time, uh, one year and three months. And one then I did it in New York months. for one year. And then I did it again in New York for five months. Yung huling performance mo daw, itong last time, umiyak ka daw. How did you feel exactly? Oh gosh, talagang parang bitin eh. Bitin pa? Parang, parang bitin. Parang, kasi five months lang ako dun eh. So, mm -hmm. parang pakiramdam ko, tapos na ako. So I was crying with some of my friends from the show. Na, na naging talagang kaibigan ko. I had so much fun doing it the last five months. And was it also probably because ito yung parang nagopen din ng doors para sa yon? Yeah. Parang iba yung sentimental value. Iba no more than the miss. More than the miss. Talaga. Anyway, in ten years of being an international star, because that's what you are. That's what you are really. And we all look up to you as that. Because talagang like I said, mahirap yung ginawa mo. After 10 years of being there, ano ang mga pinaka-importanting lessons na natutunan mo? Discipline. Besides discipline. More pa. More pa. Because you were always already disciplined. Yeah, but you still learn some more. Like, what, what else did you have to learn? Um, how to maintain a voice eight shows a week. Doon ako na, ano, na na-amaze. Because to do a concert one weekend, Masakit. 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 Mahirap. Na. You have to rest. Eh. Oh. Ikaw, every night. Every, oh, every night. Ikaw, For Saigon, it was six, six shows a week. Okay. So, bale, one show every day except Sunday. At mahihirap ang mga kanta. At mahihirap yung mga kanta. Dalawat kalahating oras, kumakanta ka dire-direcho. Tapos parang pelikula, pero live. <laughs> diba? May <laughs> acting. And it's like this, emotionally, pataas, pababa. So, mm. it's not an easy thing to do. So, what happened? You had a, Because you were already a good singer when you left, and you had some training in the repertory. A training in rap, and I also trained in London with the teacher. You had a voice teacher. Yes, a voice teacher there. Taga doon. Taga doon. Kilala siya doon na nagtuturo sa mga katulad mo. Sino siya? What's his name? Her name is Mary Hammond. Ah, babae. Babae. And then, in New York, wala na. Sanay ka na. In New York, I had a couple. I had a teacher, but from time to time lang. Hindi yung regular na every week. Pero importante yung kahit saan ka, nandoon, meron kang voice teacher. It helps. So, I have her tapes and I sing to the tapes that she made for me. Talagang sinasabayan ko para lumakas yung boses ko. Kasi kunyari, six times or eight times a week ka nagsosya. Tama, minsan may matinay, di ba? Sometimes six, sometimes eight. Oh, sometimes six, sometimes eight. Yung nag-vocalize ka pa before a performance? A couple of hours before the show, I have to vocalize. An hour before the show, I vocalize again. And para walang sablay. Pero hindi ko ma-imagine din yung kung six to eight times a week ka nagsosya, Paano ng social life mo? O pag nagkasakit ka, hindi ka pwede magkasakit. You have no social life and when you're sick, then I feel awful when I'm sick kasi parang I need to be dead. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to Kahit be here at home. Kahit may understudy ka, di ba? Oh, yung kapalit parang, ko niya. Oo. Oh, oh. mm -hmm. Kailangan talagang I feel na I'm letting someone down if I'm not at the theater. Mm -hmm. So ito, it happens to all of us performers whether on stage or kahit saan tayo, no? Concerts, ganyan. Siyempre, minsan di mo may iwasan because we're only human. May bubus. Yung oh. may piyok ka or madudulas ka oh. or something. Ma Mabablanko ut It happens. It happens. Has it happened to you? A lot. Um, I don't know how many times I've sprained my ankles running. On stage? And Dahil sa you, you've walked on the stage. Oh. <laughs> so, oh. ganun, naka-slant bali yung stage from the back to the front. So, if you put a ball dun sa pinakalikod, it will roll all the way forward. And it's in, if you're wearing heels oh facing goodness. front, you're gonna, the momentum is gonna just keep you going and going and going. So, oh nakakatakot. And we're all in heels. Tapos you'd still and have we're to running, do the next. And we're dancing and... 
Sprain your ankle, keep going. Kahit the next day, tuloy ka pa rin. Yeah. Wrap your ankle, oh keep going. Oh my goodness. Ganun talaga. Oh my goodness. Talagang disiplina. Yeah. Yeah. Social Discipline and dedication and real love for the world. Social life mo cut out totally. Forget your social life. Wala. No. No None. such thing. Very, very little. <laughs> no such thing. Pero importante rin sa'yo, bukod sa vo vocal training mo, tsaka siguro natutulog ka ng maaga, mahaba, di ba? Natutulog ng maaga? Oh, oh, mahaba nila. Mahaba. <laughs> mahaba. Binabawi. Mahaba. Mahaba yung tulog ko. Hindi and maaga. You, and you don't smoke, you don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Disiplinado ka talaga. Pero bukod sa iyong singing career, acting career, yung, uh, yung Broadway stage career mo, isa, isang very serious na commitment mo ay dito sa fight against AIDS, di ba? Sa dami-dami na mga pwede mong i-devotan ng sarili mo at time mo, bakit ito, dito ka nakafocus? I have enough friends who have died from AIDS and other friends who are HIV positive. And it's a very strong cause. Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. It's a very strong cause to the mm. heart of many Broadway actors. Kasi mm. maraming miyembro ng Broadway community ang nabibiktima mm -hmm. ng, ng disease na to. So we all try and fight as hard as we can to hopefully find a cure. At mahal, are they getting there? I think they are slowly. I think they're getting there slowly. I but there's still a lot, better. there's a lot more that needs to still be done, a lot more money that needs to be raised for research and for helping out those who are have full-blown AIDS already mm. and bringing them clothing and helping them with groceries, walking the dog and all that sort of stuff. So every year there are auctions that are mm. held before the Easter bonnet. So before Easter bali may mga auction ng mga binebenta, mga bagay-bagay na galing sa Miss Saigon. And I think also dream, mayroong posters like na posters, pinibahan, posters, pinibahan oh, dog tags, CDs, um, CDs mga ganun, All these things to help raise money talaga. So up to now, it goes on. Yeah, eh? I think the last time we raised about over $2 million. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you're doing next pala? Speaking of mga ganyan, Broadway uh, I'm musicals. doing a play in Singapore. Which is? It's called They're Playing Our Song. Ah, really? But what is your favorite role so far? Kim or Eponine or this one that's coming up? Ooh, well, I haven't really studied this one that's coming up. So oh, okay. It would probably be, it would have to be Kim. Kim. It would have to be Kim. It would Sa have akin to, talaga eh. I would think. I would feel disappointed if it wasn't Kim. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, itong teaser question, Leia, para sa susunod nating topic, pero mamaya mo ito sasabutin. Ito ang mga mister sa buhay ni Miss Salonga, Miss Saigon. <laughs> For a role naman, kunyari gagawa ka ng role, let's just say in the future, gumawa ka ng pelikulang medyo sexy yung role mo. Sabihin, yung wholesome na sexy. Wholesome na sexy. Tayo yun eh. Oh. <laughs> wholesome tayong sexy. Oh, yes. Sino ang mga gusto mong maging screen partner? O oh, ito ha, pumili ka ng one or two, bahala ka. A, Tom Cruise. B, Brad Pitt. C, Ricky Martin. Nakilala mo yun, totoy pa siya noon. D, Agamulak again. E, none of the above. And if so, why? And who? <laughs> Mag-iisip ako? Oo, oh, mamaya. Pero mga kaibigan, habang nag-iisip siya, eh, nako, babalik po kami. Ang sagot po nila yung malalaman natin plus another surefire hit from her latest album. Naku, we're excited about that. When Sharon returns.
boy But I don't remember the feeling we made seemed easier then as if we knew our love would never end but seasons change and time erases the tears as quickly as the rivers disappear so the song still brings the soul glow, and the words still sing of love I know. It wasn't quite the way it was before. I remember the boy, but I don't remember the feeling. I remember the boy. Maraming maraming salamat ulit, Leia and Mr. C. Thank Excuse you, me, you. I will pass and sit beside you again, Mr. C. <laughs> ano ang, eto ngayon, balikan natin yung tanong kanina, Leia. Sino dun As sa mga binanggit ko? A combination of all four would be perfect. <laughs> Wala naman yata ng artistang combination, nilang lahat. Sana. If one existed. Sino yung favorite mo among them? Among um, those that I mentioned? Actually, my favorite male star is Matthew Perry, friends. Oh, he's so adorable. Because he's so funny. Oh, it's his oh. wit. It's his wit more than anything else. Single pa siya. <laughs> At I'm sure kilala ka niya. Well, <laughs> well, you never know. Oh, napag-uusapan din lamang. Paano kaya napapabilib ng isang lalaki ang isang Leia Salonga? What does it take for a guy to win you over? As in, to really win me over? Yeah, like for you to fall in love with him flat on your face. Kung flat on my face, kasi kung flat on my face, saan <laughs> <laughs> tama na kidlat, wala pang oh, titingin naman oh. kayo eh. <laughs> Pero I think what keeps me interested, intelligence, mm -hmm. um, wit, mm -hmm. sense of humor, na... Someone who makes things funny. But you like, me. you wanna, of course, be with someone who's sweet and thoughtful. And affectionate and, and thoughtful. I like mm -hmm. being spoiled. Kawawa naman kasi kung hindi, di ba? Oh, Kawawa naman babae. I like that. The next thing you know, nandiyan na sa'yo. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mga kaibigan, more of Leia's quiet, pero matinding love life. Aba, magsasalita kaya siya. Kundi, di ibahin natin. When Sharon returns, don't go away. I remember the boy. Me also, Mr. C. Tanakol na, o tawag na. Lahat ay nandito sa phone card na to. Kahit anong telepono, klarong-klaro. Walang connection fee, kay daling mabili. Madalas man ang tawag mo, do re pa rin, so enjoy. O tawag na, o tawag na. Dito na, tawag na, kung phone card din lang. O tawag na, o tawag na. Now, only 32 cents per minute. such a pretty voice. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Sharon, mga kaibigan. Bakit labis na mahal ni Leia? Kaya ang mga Mr. Saigon na ito. Oh boy. Tulad nitong isang to. Matang-mata pa lang po, mga kaibigan. Sige, eh. panuwarin natin. Pwede ng Mr. Saigon. Si Herbert Bautista. Hindi. Ito, anong pinaka nami-miss mo about Herbert? What did you like about Herbert? His persistence. <laughs> <laughs> Lumigaw si Herbert sa'yo! <laughs> Kuya! <laughs> Talaga, but um, what do you miss most uh, aside from he's that? He's a really nice person. Mm. And he's someone na parang it wasn't enough for him to be an actor. He really strove for something even higher. Mm -hmm. He had loftier goals than just you know, maging artista. Mm -hmm. I think one day, yung isang ambisyon yata niya, maging, balang araw, maging isang presidente. Ito naman, 
Ito, ewan ko kung Mr. Saigon, although hindi siya performer. Pero, of course, a name has to come up na naman. From Lea as well, before, before pa, past, um, Dennis Mendiola. He's, he's not uh, from show business either. Thank goodness he's not. <laughs> In fact, he went to Harvard. He's still there. Harvard yata, Business no? School. No, he's, he's here. He's here na, tapos na siya. And very matalino. Extremely. 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 Nagkumla-kumlao di yata siya. Dalawang suma, suma. di ba? Ay, my goodness. Talaga naman. In top But, 5% yata ng Harvard Business School. He's a really, really, really smart. Kasi, Lea, for a long time, talagang, you were way into, like when you first started out in Miss Saigon, you were 19. But everyone, even the Americans were kind of, you know, parang nagugulot sila na sinasabing, you know, she's never had a boyfriend. She's na parang late ka nag-start, late, late bloomer ka. Ayan, by choice yun, di ba? It's by choice, kasi may trabaho ako. And you had other priorities yeah. aside At from work, that. I couldn't have a life. Mm, and school. And, well, school when I was in, here mm -hmm. in, in Manila. Pero makoconsider mo na si Dennis was your first serious boyfriend? Or your pub first boyfriend pub ever? Publicly. Yes. Publicly. Publicly. Yes. yes. Eto naman ang isang cute na cute na Mr. Saigon. Mga kaibigan, let's all watch this. Leia, please watch. Okay, okay. Leia, remember me? Your friend. Hi. Long time no see. Long time no hear. Probably you're tired uh, emailing me. Well, my computer is working again. So um, one day, I shall email you. Nagihiwalay na kayo. Hindi pa ako nakaka-email sa'yo. Joke lang. Okay. Pero... I know. Um, well, I guess you're still. Well, you're you are happy now, and you've always been. And I uh, just hope we can work together again. Um, really, sana maulit muli talaga. I want to thank you also for uh, the two movies you did with me. Um, it's like two of my best movies, and kasama uh, Thank you very much. Hope we can do another one. Really, seriously. Bago ko magkaboyfriend naman ng iba. So you're single. I'm single. We're all single. Hey, love. <laughs> Miss you na. Oh, bigla na. Ano ba yan? Alam mo, sasahin mo, you're single? <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw, ha? Very, very... Anong camera natin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ikaw, ha? You're very, very bad. <laughs> Pero sabi mo kanina, hindi ka niya tinatawagan. You don't know where to find him. He doesn't call him. me. He doesn't email me. Hindi nga nagbibigay ng... I had to, I had to email Agot to, to get his out. numbers. Oh, tapos, so thank you, Agot. Tapos ikaw naman, Aga, hindi mo naman siya tinatawagan. Ay! Ewan ko ba dyan? <laughs> I haven't changed my number in years, so he has no excuse. <laughs> Pero the times that you work together, naging close ba kayo? Yeah, I mean, Very as friends, friends no? as friends, and as work, as, a, as colleagues. Mm -hmm. Talaga naging close kami. But not to the point naman na we would be romantically, mm -hmm. for real, be with But si other. Aga? Aga didn't even attempt no, to ever, really? Ever, ever. Parang Alam it was just, we were just very good friends, we were buddies, and it was just a lot of fun Ako, working with him. Baka nating heel syndrome rin yan. Ay, ewan ko ba? Na-intimidate din siya. Pero you know, I don't know if Aga's single now. Is he ba? Eh, well, if he's niya. not, well, that's just too bad. He should just call and yeah, I mean, call <laughs> just me. to say hello. Just to say hello. I mean, you know, hindi nga kita mahanap. I couldn't greet him happy birthday. I don't know where to find him. Oh, yan, Aga, narinig mo, ha? Ayan, yung mga old friends eh, pinupuntahan at ini-email at tinatawagan. Old friends, old friends daw. Heh. But would you want to work with Aga again? I would love to. He was so much fun, both times that I worked with him. Oh, gal, ako, I've never worked with Aga. You should. Ah, well, okay. You should. Oh, he's a good, good actor. He's a very good actor. Anyway, ito, you're no to have placed well for most of the years you've been working to have placed your your career over your love life nagbago na ba to or kung hindi pa magbabago ba to hindi pa rin nagbabago i still place my career above my personal life but you dream of someday settling oh, down yeah. one day magbabalik tad yan and one day my priority will be having a husband and a family children i'd love that i mean but for right now that doesn't seem to be the case at mga kaibigan when sharon returns isa pong duet po na i will be very very privileged to share again with Leia one of her songs uh, one of Mr. Mo to? Yes. record mo kasali to it has already been recorded ayan and this is one of Mr. C's compositions one of my personal favorites remember Mr. C how can I when Sharon returns Malalaman mo lamang ang tunay na halaga ng isang tao. Hindi mo ba na hindi umuwi ka kape? Hindi ko na alam kung ano nangyari kay Buboy. Hindi na kami nagkita eh. Kapag nawala na ito. Sis ko! Wala ko! Wala na ako! Wala na ako! Wala na ako! Ano ba kaya pa kaya ni Mrs. kapag wala na si Mr.? Bakit naman kayong ganyan, Chief? Gawa niyo na para si Buboy! Para nga 
Kamu gila banget. Psycho just keep on playing, Mr. C. No, that was Once Upon a Life, mga kaibigan. A. Gary Valenciano, original, that now Leia just did for her new album. Yes. Don't you think it's a wonderful song? It's a beautiful song. Oh, thank you, Mr. C. Ang gaganda ng kanta mo. Alam mo, lahat may meaning. May meaning sa aming buhay. Dalawang R.C. ang nagsulat ng kanta mo. Oo, oo, tama. Roman Cruz, that's right. Right. And, um, ito, anong criteria mo, Lea? Kasi you did Lea in Love na, um, and, you know, several other CDs. Pero itong Lea in Love, ito special sa amin to. Kasi itong growing up songs natin. Exactly, that's why I chose those songs. The best of Odette Quesada. Yeah, Rick Segred. Cecil, my teacher. Okay. And, um, anong criteria mo sa pagpili ng composers or songs para sa albums? I try not so much to, to, na, ito, somebody did this, I sure ball maganda yan. It's not always the case na porque composer did the song na maganda. I listen to the song. And so it's the merit of the song. Hindi yung kung sino. Hindi yung kung sino gumawa, kundi kung anong kanta. The quality of the song, the lyrics. Anong tama. The lyrics. Plus, because both albums are in English, I have to listen to the lyrics, how they fall. If it falls the way the spoken word would, you know, na hindi awkward. Hindi awkward. Hindi awkward kantahin. Kasi minsan may trouble dyan eh. Pagka yeah, OPM pero like English. The haves or the hads. Right. The, oh, yung mga ganun, oh, oh. the grammatical. Right. Ek, ek. But they say sometimes there's a license now, artistic license. Dahil minsan you can change a little something. Or, a little but oh. not naman ridiculously different. Oh. Diba? <laughs> it has to mali. still contain the sentiment of the writer. Mm -mm. You know, pero I, I noticed itong Leia in Love and this new album of yours, mostly revivals, di ba? All revivals. Lahat ng favorites mo. Oh, absolutely. So talagang hand Handpicked by you. Handpicked by us. And Mr. C, oh, of yeah. course. Okay, now, mga kaibigan, In Love, Leia In Love, the album goes quintuple platinum. Quintuple. Imagine, five times platinum. Okay, well, how do you feel about that? Na hindi ka pa rin kinakalimutan ng mga nagmamahal sa'yo dito sa Pilipinas. Am, I'm just so grateful that a lot of people bought the album. We didn't know it would do that well. And so I'm napapataba ng puso. Na you know, Leah, because I think to us kasi in the Philippines, lahat kaming Filipino na nakita kang lumaki, um, there's a special place in our hearts for you eh. So kahit wala ka dito, We always want something from you, like whether it be a CD or a movie and ganyan. And uh, when I talk to my daughter about good singing, I make it a point to mention Lea Salonga. You listen to Lea Salonga and try to sing like her and ganyan. I think all the kids who want to sing should listen to Lea. You know, it's it's such a, it's so nice. It's so nice that you do this for us and you don't forget us back Thank home. You. There's no place like home, man. There really is. Nobody will love you as much as we do. <laughs> <laughs> that I am sure. Yes. And ngayon mga kaibigan from Ega. Gary V. Original kanina, ang aking kuya ko na siya ngayon. Ganon? Yes, he's my brother-in-law, si Gary. Ay, that's right. Yes, Ay, imagine. Na, Bilas, di ba? Can you imagine? Hindi <laughs> man sa, pang, sa bangungot, di ko pinang, pinangarap maging kuya. <laughs> anyway, pero I'm happy he's my kuya now. I'm happy because he's older. Pero, <laughs> from Gary naman, we go now to a Martin Yavera classic. Yes. And uh, this is another song that was composed and arranged by everybody's dream to work with Maestro, Mr. Ryan. And Kelyab, of course, who's going to play it for us. And uh, Leia and I, we're going we're to try to do it for you. This is also one of my favorites. How can things go wrong when you're here with me? All of time and space would stop. I'd stop for you and me How can we go wrong 
were like words within a song. Perfect rhyme and perfect time and perfect harmony. with me. Tell me why, when we have come this far, we're happy as we are. But now, <laughs> how can I feel right when you're not by my side? Strange that I'm here all alone as I recall the happy times, the happy songs, the perfect time. How can I go on? How can I move on? How can I, how can I move on? painful ang mga kanta mo, Mr. Sp. Hindi naman lahat. Hindi <laughs> naman lahat. Ito tamang English. <laughs> How can we go wrong? We're like words within song. Perfect time and perfect time and perfect harmony. Now, my words have lost their way. No, they seem to say They don't intend to stay with me Tell me why When we have come this far We're happy as we are But now Now How can I feel right when you're not by my side Strange that I'm here all alone As I recall the happy times The happy songs The perfect rhymes How can I go on? How can I move on? How can I? How can I? How can I? Can I, Mr. Singh? Mga kaibigan, we'd like to thank again, Leia, of course, and Mr. C. Mr. C, ang ganda ng kanta mo. I was so beautiful, Leia. And when Shadow returns, we will have more of Leia. Don't go away. Ang nakaraan sa seryeng inyong pinaka-aabangan. Kuya! Ben! Muling nakapiling ni Ruben ang mga mahal niya sa buhay. Huwag nga kayong babalik dito nang wala kayong dalang magandang balita. At baka sibakin ko kayo, hindi na makita ang mga katawan niyo sa mundong ito. Ngunit, hindi ito nagtagal. Sir, katago si Ruben! Pakayin niyo man ako! Wala kayong makukuha sa akin! Ayon! Masalita ka na? Sino papatayin? Nabibilang na rin ba ang masasayang sandaling ni Ruben? Sa sandaling kailangan mo ako Sundan ngayong lunes I don't love you anymore Can't you see it's just no good I've gotta walk out that door There's nothing left to say I've gotta go my way I don't love you anymore Can't you see it's 
it's just no good. I've got to walk out that door. Don't do There's this to me. nothing <laughs> left to say. I can't live without you. I've got to go my way. Okay. Try to okay. understand. Okay. okay. If there's no, no other way, way. Lalo siya magawa eh. Sige, lumayas ka na kung gusto mo lumayas. Yun, duet yan originally. Yes, and it was a duet, a duet with Ariel for this album. Ah, you did a duet with yes. Ariel. Okay, and who composed this song? Only for the brave Butch Monserrat. Butch Monserrat. It was a beautiful song. We've known this song since we were like, like I was the, in my early <laughs> teens. I know, <laughs> so famous. I was really, really small. By the Something it. Special ba, di ba? Something right. Special New Minstrels. Ernie and um, Luan. 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 Oo, oh, oh, galing. Anyway, yeah. Lea, what is the title of this new album? By Heart. After Leia in love, Leia by heart. Tama you know, puro ano eh. <laughs> puro makabagbag damdam. There are reference to by heart. Oh, oh, yeah, wait, so would you like reference. to invite not only your fans, but music lovers yeah. all over? Yes, to everybody watching Sharon's oh, we're show. We're seen in the States also. Yes, to everybody in the States and to everybody here in the Philippines. Please, please, um, I hope you patronize the new album. It's called By Heart under BMG Filipinas. Mr. C produced the album. My brother Gerard, I have to plug him. He arranged three of the, the songs. Conductor. If you uh, need him to arrange anything for you, just... He's here, so. but now he's here. No, now. he's in the states. But, but he, he will he, fly. He can, home. he can arrange whatever for you. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Under BMG Filipinas, po, please buy the album, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, BMG, for bringing us Leia, and we'd like to thank also the Western Philippine Plaza where we are this evening. Salamat naman, nakalis na naman kami sa studio. Pero na miss din natin, di ba? Anyway, I would like to thank you, Leia, for giving You're us very this welcome. Chance. My pleasure. Talaga. I had a great time, and I hope that next time, where are you gonna be again? Um, I'm going to be in New York, and yeah. then after New York. In London for Miss Saigon's 10th anniversary. After that, are I'm you gonna do it again in London? No, no, no. I'm just watching. visiting lang. Just watching. Just okay. Just going to indulge myself. Maybe I will go to then New York, Singapore. Maybe I'll see you. Okay, New York and Singapore is not bad to go to. Okay. <laughs> Basta where you're singing, we'll see you again. And thank you, Leia. Thank you're you. Very this welcome. is such a. This is one of our favorite episodes on Sharon, and we would like to say thank you also to everybody's dream. MD, dream MD. teacher, dream, and you're such a sweet man. We love you, Mr. C. We love you because you're not only a genius, but you're also sweet to us. And we learn a lot from you. Thank you, Mr. C. You're Thank you. Welcome. Okay, and Leia, so we will sing this song. My sister-in-law, Angeli, wrote the lyrics of this song. And of course, my brother-in-law, Gary Valenciano, originally did it. But now, it's become just a tad more special because Miss Lea Salonga has included this in her new album, Lea by Heart. Let's not all this one. get our... No. Oh, not this not one, this ba? One. No, 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 no. A pero favorite mo rin to. Oh, yeah. Okay, I did the ako. movie and this was the theme Exactly. Song. That's the movie I saw. Start That's the one directed by... by Olive Lamasa. Yes. Okay, so mga kaibigan, we will sing yung palang significance ng sana you ulit ulit. With aga. Okay. With aga. This is for all of you. Thank you, Leia. You're very welcome. Sana ulit muli Ang mga oras natin Nakaraan Bakit nagkakanito Naglaho na ba ang pag-ibig ko? Sana ulit muli Sana kaya ng pansin ko Kahap bukas ngayon Thank you. 